Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike and today we have another Kronos Sunday 4 in 4. Four headlines to hopefully grab your attention and keep you up to date with the Kronos ecosystem. Two things that you need to do when you watch these videos is please go and support every project that we comment on in these videos and of course give us a follow on YouTube and X. This week is no different. We have four cracking news articles. The first one is about Crypto.com suing the SEC. The second is about Amplify by Wolfswap. The third is about oddly shaped balls. What could that possibly be about? And finally, we have a rumor, a spooky rumor about a listing on Crypto.com. So please follow me. Number one, this week, Chris dropped his pants and went tip to tip with Gary Gensler. Perhaps play a little game called just a tip. Just Who's going to win? Let's find out. First up then is the news that Crypto.com are suing the SEC after being served with a Wells notice. There was some time between the Wells notice being served to Crypto.com and them announcing it to retail, however. But what do I think of this? I think this is a win-lose. I think this is a win for Crypto.com because I think Chris knows the writing is on the wall. Trump is going to win. Gary Gensler will be gone and Chris will look like a knight in shining armor. It is a lose for Crow. Crow is not going to hit the mystical $1 mark. I don't think so. Not with a court case hanging over the company. It's not going to be resolved this part of 2024. It's certainly not going to be resolved in the first quarter or second quarter of uh, 2025. So all of you out there calling for a $1 or $2 Crow in this bull run, I think you're going to be very disappointed. Number two, Amplify has now been live for over a week and it is causing a ruckus. We're going to go through that and show you what that's about. But it's so good that Swizz has stopped looking through the window and decided to come in and join the wolf pack. Next up is Amplify. Are you a social media guru? Are you a call or even an influencer? If so, join the Amplify program by WolfSwap. It's aimed to boost the WolfSwap ecosystem and the Kronos ecosystem. I've made a video about this, which I will leave in the comments below and on X. This is a project to try and get the buzz around Kronos, try and get people involved in the project. It's so buzzy that even Swizz from Abyssus Bay, who has beef with Alex, has got involved. However, he hasn't cheated as much as Pampa, who is clearly leading the way with double the number of points as anybody else. I want to know what the bribes are because none of them have come my way. Number three, Deadbeat Dads are launching their new fantasy football program on the 16th of October. I will leave a link down below so you can go and follow them out. And they are, of course, minting the wrong shaped balls. Being Yanks, they don't understand that football is a British term and they simply play rugby with helmets on. Now we might have to make a review about this one, Deadbeat Dads. The mint is coming up on the 16th of October, which is only in a few days time. Minting cost is 150 crow, which at the time of recording is about $10. This project is about American football, not traditional UK soccer, as they call it. However, this is a project which looks on the outside to be quite promising and looks like a project that could act as a magnet to drive some of those crazed American football fans into Kronos. Now, it claims to be the first fantasy sports football program on any blockchain and it's come to Kronos. That should be bullish enough for you to go and check them out. Again, it's too long for me to review wholly in this 4 in 4, so I will leave a link to their project down below. Make sure to go and check them out, go and say hello and go and give them a follow, especially if you like to watch men with oddly shaped balls. And finally, number four, the spooky listing on Crypto.com. Is it going to happen at Halloween? Is it going to happen in a Halloween campaign? All we know is the rumours are abound that Merry is about to be listed on Crypto.com. I am sure Oscar Ramos has a tear in his eye as we speak. Now, we are not your average news programme. We do not need substantiation to make unfounded rumours. This one is that Crypto.com's wallet purchased Merry earlier in the week. What could this mean? Well, it's October. It's October the 12th, 13th, 14th. October 31st is, of course, Halloween. Would it surprise me if they ran a two-week competition between now and the end of the month to give away Merry? No, it would not. Is it a Telegraph type of post on Crypto.com? Yes, I think everybody on Kronos is going to know this is going to happen. 
What's going to happen to the price? Is it going to get listed and the whales dump? Is the price going to pump? We will have to wait and see. But it's bullish news. It's bullish news for us and it's bullish news for Oscar because that's one less tweet he has to send every week. So that's it from Crypto Warehouses 4 in 4 on a Sunday. Please, as I've said at the beginning, follow everybody. Give everybody your support. Go and raid their projects, especially Deadbeat Dads. They're trying to get their projects off the ground. We do try and include as many new projects as possible on here. We don't want to keep regurgitating crypto.com news. We want to include everybody in these videos. And finally, a quote for you. The secret, Alice, is to surround yourself with people who make your hearts smile. It is then and only then will you find Wonderland. Now, Kronos may not appear like Wonderland right now. Give it 12 months, wait for the bull run, and let's wait for retail to arrive. Have a great Sunday. I've been Mike. You've been great. See you soon.